everyone, my name is Caroline and welcome to my free service training series. I have just over 20 years of food service experience. Um, if you watch my intro video, you will get a little more background information on my experience and some of the things that I've done. Um, it's ranged from fast food to quick service to casual to fan, to what I call fancy casual, like um, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, things like that. Um, so I created this series of videos um, for anyone who is in the food service industry who wants that little bit extra knowledge or wants to hear experience from someone who has worked in the industry for so long. Because I do know, especially now with the um, understaffing and shortages, sometimes trainers don't have even six months of experience. They have three months or less. And you can't train someone if you don't have the knowledge yourself. So this is for anyone who wants more knowledge, for trainers who want um, a little more knowledge, managers, who want to um, understand the food service um, standard position more from someone who's been in the industry so long, or if you know someone in the food service industry that you think you could benefit or that you think they could benefit from these videos, you know, that's why they're here. So this is going to be the first video in the series. Now this video is going to be a short video, maybe about 10 minutes. It's on hosting, being a host, hostess, um, greeter, uh, what have you. So let's get started. Now in my um, intro, I did say a couple days ago that I had a terrible ex food service experience um, and that I would go into that. So the restaurant I went to was uh, Red Lobster. And of course they have a sign saying, you know, um, we apologize for the wait. You know, they're trying to basically, you know, we're sorry it takes so long because we're understaffed. That's, which I understand. You know, I've been in that situation. I get it. I think the problem with understaffing is that the, stan the standard of service goes down with understaff. People are stressed out. People are upset. And they project that onto the customer. And you never want to do that. Um, so we walk into the Red Lobster. And we're standing there. And there are two people at the podium. And I'm just standing there, like, staring at them, like, hello. And at the same time, a, a young man walks in, and he clocks in, um, because the um, takeout window is right here. And then there's, a like, a barrier um, that comes up to my shoulder, and then the bartender is, like, right there. And nothing. They look at us. They see us. They know we're there. No, hello. No, how are you? No, um, we will seat you in just a moment. Nothing. Zero. So we're just standing there, and we're probably standing there five, ten minutes, not too long. Um, but in those five and ten minutes, at least six employees came walking past, looking at us. Some of them actually stopped at the podium, looked at us, and walks walk away. And I'm like, hello? Yes. You know, I'm standing there. I look like an idiot because someone will walk up to the podium, do something, look at us and walk away, and I say, yes, I'm fine, and a few minutes works for me, and they didn't say a word, because it's like, you know, do you see me? Am I a ghost? So already that, you know, not anger, but just frustration is starting to build, and I'm like, the young man, it turns out the young man who came in and clocked in, he was the host. He was clocking in for a shift. He looks at us, 
talks to a young lady at the podium and walks away. Okay, so we're just standing there and I'm just, you know. Finally, the young man comes up to the podium and he said, you know, four in your party? And I said, yes. I said, one child. He says, okay. And it's like, you know what? At that point, I was just happy to be seated. I'm like, fine. Now, in a perfect world, that wouldn't have happened. Um, if I was a trainer of that host, that would not have happened. I would have, in the beginning, when he or any of the hosts have got had started training, I, I would let them know, and I would reiterate, you always greet and acknowledge. It doesn't matter whether you are clocked in, you're not clocked in, you're a server, you're a bartender, you're a busboy, it does not matter. If someone walks into the restaurant and is standing at the podium, they need service. So if you are an employee at that restaurant, it doesn't matter what your job position is. It doesn't matter. There's no such thing as this is not my job. No, it takes two seconds to walk up to those people and say, hi, welcome to Red Lobster. Ha is um, are you waiting to be seated? Yes. Okay. Your host will be right with you to seat you. Thank you. You're welcome. Simple. Anyone can learn to say that. It doesn't matter your position. Anyone can learn to say that. That young man, if I were the trainer or I were the supervisor and he did what he did, I would have taken him aside and I said, when you walked in to start your shift as a host, did you see the people standing at the podium waiting to be seated? Yes. You should have stopped and asked them, hi, welcome to Red Lobster. Has anyone assisted you yet? Of course, in our situation, we would have said, no, we haven't been helped yet. Okay, I'm the host for this shift. Let me go prepare and I will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. That's how I would have changed that. I would not have been okay with just walking in and ignoring everyone. It was three different parties, myself and my party, and then another party and then another party. Um, I would not have just left us standing there you know, staring into the, into the abyss, you know, because I haven't clocked in yet or I'm not ready for my shift yet. No. And then, of course, you walk up. How many in your party? Four. And a child. Four. Um, one of us is a child. Okay. Menus, child, right this way. You don't say, okay, and turn around and start walking like okay what no you take the menus you take the silverware right this way I'll show you to your table and a lot of people would say well it's not fine dining it's just red lobster no restaurant it's not just a restaurant if it's a sit-down restaurant it's not just a restaurant it does not matter if it's red robin or if it's um what's a fancy restaurant I don't know Wolf King Cooks. I don't know. I don't go to fancy restaurants to get that. Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, what kind of restaurant it is, you always give 110% because the customer will appreciate it. They will be able to be seated at their table with a smile instead of a grumpy face like I had when I sat down. Because that kind of an attitude shows you know what, I don't care, just come on, I'm gonna put you down at a table. No, 
You communicate, you greet, acknowledge, and communicate with your customer. Sometimes I've, you know, I've seen this done while they're walking you to your table. They turn around. How is your day going? Are you here for a special occasion? Oh, your child is so cute. How old are they? Customers appreciate that. You know, they appreciate that. It, it doesn't cost you anything to go that extra mile and appreciate the customer, acknowledge the customer. Now, I know, you know, like I said, with this video, it's going to be a little, it's a little shorter. It's after 10 minutes. But, um, you know, there isn't a whole lot to hosting. Um, so, you know, one other point, you know, you greet, you acknowledge, you seat them. Um, when you have free time, turn the menus, you stock the silverware. You make sure everything is nice and organized and clean at the front of the restaurant. Um, one other thing is attitude. You got to leave your attitude at the door. I don't care if you're having a bad day. I don't care if you're sick. You know, I don't care if you, I don't know, almost hit a horse on the way to work. It doesn't matter. All of that stuff gets left in your car or out on the sidewalk. Because when you open those doors to go in to start your shift, that stuff should be gone. You should be fresh. You should be ready and willing and able to give them 110%. And just like you're greeting your grandparent, you know, you know, whether it doesn't, and it doesn't matter whether, you know, it's, some customer you've never seen before or Queen Victoria, it does not matter. They are all treated the same because they are all patronizing your establishment. Um, so, you know, just when it comes to hosting, greet, acknowledge, appreciate. That is all it takes to make a good host. You know, if you act like you don't want to be at your job, it comes off as, you know what, I hate this job and I hate you. And you never want to do that because my husband and I have stopped going to restaurants just based on the service, not even based on the food, just based on the service. We, we've stopped going to restaurants and not everyone's going to complain. They're just not going to show up. They're not going to come back. And they're going to tell their friends, don't go there. The employees have a terrible attitude. Service sucks. And that's not what you want. Because you got that job. Why? Because you need a job and you need to make money. And if that uh, restaurant closes, you lose your job. And if that restaurant closes, you lose your job. Because you lose the customers. Because... They feel like you make them feel like garbage. Not you. I mean, you know, as a bad host with a bad attitude. It could be anybody. But I'm sorry. You could hear my voice is starting to go. So that was my video on hosting. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, please leave any comments, concerns, questions, testimonials down below. If you like my videos please subscribe um, next video is going to be on serving and the probably most likely the rest of the series is going to be based on serving and attitude um, how long the series is going to be I'm not sure it depends it depends on the videos or the subjects I want to cover and it depends on any questions um, I might do a Q&A video where I answer any questions that I've received. Um, I, you know, if I leave anything out, please let me know. You know, you can't have too much knowledge. You can't know everything about something. Like, I don't know everything about food service. All I know is what I've experienced and what I feel is good customer service. Not just from a food service worker standpoint, 
but from a trainer standpoint and from a customer standpoint. So have a great rest of the week. Next video, if not today, will be posted tomorrow. Uh, first video in the segment on serving. So have a great day and keep up those service standards.